Hello everyone and welcome to another episode. My name is Francesco and what I do in these episodes is I break down productivity tips, tools and techniques to help you utilize them throughout your day, um, you know, get those kind of tools and bring them into play. So uh, what I wanted to do in this session um, is firstly apologize for my lack of videos in the last couple of weeks. Um, I've been fairly busy but not too busy uh, and kind of missed out on doing a few videos uh, my camera is broken, so I can't do any more um, other videos that are relevant to take video in my phone. Uh, I can only do one that's that are like selfie or vlogging shots, uh, which will only be my opinion videos. So that's uh, my excuses for the session. But in this session, what we're going to be doing is going over Trello um, and basically how I used it for a week as a task manager. And I'm going to basically uh, tell you my findings from that experience and tell you why um, and um, why I decided not to continue using it as a task manager. For those who don't know, Trello is essentially a board management system. Uh, think of it like Pinterest and a task manager or a project manager that you know, uh, blended together. You know, um, that's the, the child of uh, that, those two products. Um, and Trello is a fantastic tool. I think it's brilliant. I think it's got about 10, 10 million users now. Um, so very uh, high level productivity application online uh, has a good amount of uh, awareness as well. So uh, I used it as an experiment for one week. Um, I had some a lot of communication during that period of time on Twitter. Uh, so I was able to kind of share some of my basic experiences, but a few people actually wanted me to do a video uh, to round up some of my findings and also reasons why I wasn't 100% all in for it. So uh, one thing I learned over the period of time is that uh, one thing I was doing on that was that I was not making multiple boards. Uh, what a lot of people do is they tend to go to uh, the board section um, and let's say I just go to Trello.com, uh, which is the home of all the boards um, or your board, sorry. Uh, you basically can create a lot of different um, Trello boards for each different area of your life. And that's fantastic. Um, I was starting to actually get so um, focused on the specific task because I was trying to use it as that task manager. What I'd do is I'd only click on like my day planner, uh, which is up there and actually just focus solely on this as what my main board to get all of my activities done. Uh, I found that this was much better than using multiple boards. As you can see, I've started to create a lot of different boards uh, and I actually went away from this because it got a bit disparated, disparated, is that a word? Uh, it got a bit kind of despair with uh, lots of different things going on. And they don't, the boards don't communicate with each other necessarily. I mean, you can copy things from other boards, but that kind of takes a lot of manual work. So I'd recommend if you're going to use it as a task manager to actually just uh, put this all in one. Um, the next thing I found really useful was, uh, as you can see, going back to this page, uh, there's a lot of uh, different kind of uh, colored backgrounds and, and different backgrounds. Um, as you can see in the top right hand corner, I am a gold member, which, you know, uh, they were able to give me, uh, which is really thankful for doing that trailer. I really appreciate it. Uh, but if you are able to, you know, recommend a friend and get one month free, that's great because uh, at least you can try out what it feels like to use a lot of different backgrounds because I, I swear down, it makes it feel a lot more kind of immersive. Uh, and you can choose your own background once you're on gold as well. Um, you know, this is not an affiliation or association. I actually don't have any on my channel just yet. Um, so it's just an opinion. I think it feels just a bit more kind of uh, native to each of the boards versus just the standard color that you get, uh, which is blue and, and all of the kind of base colors. So I recommend doing that. If you're going to be using Trello as a task manager and you do need to use multiple boards, that's probably the way to go. Um, okay, going into this board here, uh, what I tended to be doing across my day is I, I just was putting up tasks and uh, with those really important tasks, I weirdly was, uh, so I'm just going to drag this one in the middle. Uh, so what I weirdly was doing was just uh, grabbing the right hand menu and just grabbing any of the stickers that are here and just, if it was an important one or something relevant or something that I needed to kind of focus on I would just chuck a sticker on it and it it doubles the size of the card um, and it just makes the card kind of come to life uh, showcase an importance to it there's lots of different stickers um, I think you can get a certain amount of them in uh, non-gold but if you get gold you can get lots of different stickers you can even add custom stickers as well so your own PNGs which is great 
So I, re I recommend just actually using stickers to indicate popular tasks because it just makes it slightly more fun for yourself as well. Um, my next kind of finding was that uh, making a list process uh, that was based on my day or my diary was quite cool. So what I do, uh, for example, is uh, when I was doing this as a task manager and I was planning two, three days in advance, let's say I started Monday, um, I, used, I, I normally did Monday a.m., uh, m Monday a.m. plus, uh, Monday p.m., and Monday p.m. plus. All right, and then I just Tuesday a.m. and Tuesday a, a p.m. I'll tell you the logic behind this because I essentially was uh, using this as, as I go across my day. Uh, and what I'd do is I'd populate all of the whole day. Uh, so a.m. is essentially anything between 7 a.m. and 12 p.m. Um, and then anything uh, a.m. plus is anything additional between 12 and 1 then Monday p.m. was anything between 1 and 4, and then p.m. plus was anything between uh, 4 and 5. So that's some kind of logic on this, weird logic, but it actually made sense after a while. Because what I could do is uh, I could migrate any tasks that I didn't complete in a.m. to a.m. plus, um, and then I could continually do that across the day. Uh, and then when I got to p.m. plus, and one of my tasks was actually to organize Tuesday a.m. and Tuesday p.m., I could actually uh, bring over or create an AM plus and a PM plus because I knew uh, what I want, what tasks I wanted to do in those specific plus times. Um, essentially, these plus times were my uh, hour that I am mentally lazy. <laughs> so you could have, you know, if if like eight AM to nine AM is the hour that you are really heavy, then you can, you know, actually add your. Um, that you're really lazy specifically uh, use the am plus here um, or if you're kind of really lazy um, during that period of time before uh, pm uh, begins which is one o'clock uh, then put that there um it, it you know i kind of made this one based on uh kind of uh, i don't know practice i guess these were the kind of bonus tasks i could do in my time uh if i just saw the plus sign i'd be like oh okay uh, I know what tasks I need to do to just get them done and complete uh, and that kind of require little brain power. So it was kind of just uh, enhancing my experience across my day. So what I do after kind of obviously monitoring all of that, when I was planning my day for the next day or the third day or the fourth day, then I would be able to kind of plot in my AM pluses and associate tasks to those. So I could just go down the list and process them individually. So that was my kind of thesis on that. And, and what was quite useful, obviously, uh, what I would do is I would delete each of these after I uh, completed them. So I would tend to be a bit more specific. So Monday, the 13th of November, I know that doesn't exist. As soon as I completed all the tasks inside the area, I would just archive the list down here and it would roll over. And I just kept that process going. And if you're kind of the person who wants to continually monitor what tasks you've done, then you can just view it in activity stream and be able to see all of the stuff you archived. So that was quite valuable. Uh, that process is kind of completely made up, but something that I recommend uh, when using it as a task manager, because imagine all these are full, kind of breaks down, you kind of view it as like a timeline. Um, I guess it's quite useful for those uh, ones trying to use it as a full-time task manager. Anyway, guys, I wanted to summarize why I'm actually not using Trello anymore for task management specifically. I am using it for project management for sure. I'm trying to uh, see different ways on using it in the community. I see a lot of people talking about this kind of stuff and I'm like, OK, I've just got to try and use it in that way, too. I'm finding continuous use cases as well uh, from Trello and from everyone else. So th the reason I'm not using it is simply because uh, what I want to do is I I think it's I think it's more of the the function of being able to tick something off uh, the function because what I was doing when I completed the task is oh yeah I've completed a task uh, archive and that kind of killed it it kind of like made it look like nothing happened but when you kind of get that um, that feeling of being able to tick something off and and actually have that in your kind of completed task but also see that how it relates to uh, in a list format that was quite beneficial. Uh, so uh, I don't recommend it for task management highly, uh, don't recommend it for task management, but I actually recommend it for high end projects. So if you had a task manager like to do this, like Vunderlist, like uh, my, Meister Task, like Evernote, whatever you use for your task manager, um, 
just make sure uh, that you've got a kind of hierarchical hierarchical view. So what I was doing is actually um, I started putting in bigger tasks across my day. So like three or four things I'm actually going to be doing in terms of projects. Um, so very kind of high task uh, project uh, view versus actually seeing all the minute tasks. Because I literally, uh, when it was a point of business, this would be scrollable uh, and it would be kind of a bit cruel uh, to be able to see all of those tasks at a given time. So anyway, guys, uh, so anyway, guys uh, I appreciate um, that you watched. I uh, appreciate that I, uh, I, I actually was able to use this. So thanks, Trello, for getting me premium. Um, again, I've got no affiliation. I just I appreciate what those, those guys are doing. Um, anyway, um, I'm mumbling now. So thank you very much, guys. Make sure I have a great week. And I really appreciate if you shared this one out, if it helped you in any way. Uh, if you think it could help your your friend who's on Twitter or your your mate who's on Facebook or just just send it some in private message or or just share it out to some friends, I really appreciate that. Uh, and uh, if you've got any opinions about Trello uh, and how you're using it, uh, not just for task management, for everything, I'd love to see that in the comments on YouTube. I'd love to see it in Twitter at Francesco D underscore A L E S. I almost forgot to spell my name. Um, and then just uh, drop me a message there and I'd really appreciate it. So thanks very much, everyone. Make sure you have a great week and keep productive. Cheers.